In this lecture, we are going to go ahead and understand what is meant by international linkages. In particular, this can be considered as a chapter that tries to go beyond the concept of closed economy. Now, till now, whenever we have seen the formula y is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx, we haven't really focused on this part of net exports. We have always, you know, considered an economy where I have no external sector. And hence, my economy ideally is either C plus I plus G or it is Y is equal to C plus I plus G plus NX, but NX are autonomous. Uh, they are uh, fixed, they are exogenous, they are defined outside the model. This is what we have been considering. But now we want to incorporate this NX within the model and we want to see what is the impact of net exports. So to begin with, let us try and understand what is balance of payments. Now, as the word suggests, balance of payments means to balance out payments means to balance the debit and credit side means whatever amount you are giving and whatever amount you are taking there has to be a balance you have to try and maintain an accounting system of what of whatever transactions your country will do with the rest of the world whether it is buy or sell whether money is going out or money is coming in Whatever transactions will take place with the rest of the world, you have to make an account of those transactions. And when you make an account of those transactions, that is known as balance of payment. So the balance of payment is the record of transactions of the residents of the country. So we are talking about the people who are residing in any country with the rest of the world, whether they are ordering something from the rest of the world in terms of shoes, in terms of furniture, or they are going ahead and they are transferring money. So somebody whose child is working outside and is transferring money at their place, that is also nothing but a balance of payment transaction. So basically a balance of payment is any, you know, uh, transaction and actually a record of all such transactions where the residents of a country are dealing with the rest of the world. Now, whenever money will come in, it will be a credit and whenever it will go out, it will be a debit. Okay, so credit is what is going to come in and debit is what is going to go out. Now, let's go ahead and see further. Any transaction that gives rise to a payment by country's resident is a deficit in that country's BOP. So, you know, for example, your country's residents are buying something from the rest of the world, maybe a mobile maybe shoes, maybe furniture, maybe they are pay making payment to the rest of the world. So whenever payment or money is going out from the residents to the rest of the world, it is considered as a payment towards the deficit. It's a deficit in the BOP. It is reducing the balance because your money is going out from your country. So, for example, imports of goods, when goods are imported, which means when you're buying goods from outside, then in that case, you are making payment. Always remember deficit or surplus is in terms of payment. Are you making payment of money or are you receiving money? So, in case of imports of goods, because when you buy from outside, money is going out. 
it is a deficit in the country's BOP. Second, gift to foreigners. Whenever you are gifting something to the rest of the world, again, it is a payment which is towards the deficit of the country. Purchase of land in the other country. Again, because you when you purchase a land in other country, you are making a payment to the rest of the world. It is a deficit. Deposit of money in other bank. So your money is deposited in some bank which is outside your country. Because it is outside a country, it is again a deficit in your BOP. So deficit or you can consider it simply as a debit transaction. Whenever money is going out, it is actually towards the negative side because money is outflowing from your country. Any transaction that gives rise to payment by other countries resident to your country is a surplus in BOP. So when money flows into your country, then that becomes a surplus. For example, when you sell to the rest of the world, when people buy from you, when you are exporting good, you are selling it to the rest of the world, you are getting money in return. So that is a surplus transaction. When foreigners make payment to India, when there is pension that is re received from outside India, when there are foreign purchases of the Indian asset, you know, you know, when there is a foreign direct investment, that means people outside your country are coming here and investing in your country, then there is a surplus in the BOP. So any transaction in which money inflows in your economy is considered as a surplus. Current account. The current account records trade in goods and services as well as transfer payments. So please understand the current account actually has two parts to it. One, we have to consider goods. Other, we have to consider services. If we only go ahead and we focus on goods, then the export of goods, when you sell goods to other country, sell goods to the rest of the world, then that is a positive thing. Money is coming in. Import of goods. Is when you are buying from rest of the world, the money is going out. Export minus import are net export of goods. When we only consider goods and not services, only goods, then it is called as the trade balance. or balance of trade then to that we should also add services services are called invisibles why are they called invisibles you can't see services right so for example in india there is a call center right outside somebody has some issue in their system they call back in india this person provides in the service tells them how to operate the computer then that is an invisible thing Right? There is no exchange of goods happening. It's just a service that you're providing. So in this, after you have found the balance of trade, you add net invisibles. And what you get is the current account balance. The current account balance can be positive or it can be negative. It is positive when total exports of goods and services exceed imports. Total, okay. And it is negative when exports are less than imports. Right? So this is the service part. Now, this is what we have written. So you have export of goods minus import of good giving you trade balance, add net invisibles to it, gives you current account 